Okay. No. <laughs> I'm just trying to think of the best possible way to help you guys, you know, remember how to do these because we're given right now, we say for secant of theta equals five, and we know that tangent theta equals, you know, two pi over six. All right. Now, what I want to do is I want to evaluate, sorry, two times radical six. What I say? <laughs> two times radical six. <laughs> so if I'm looking at this and I say what is cosine of theta, all right? Now, I told you guys to write in those two boxes, especially Cody can't hear though because he has his hood on. So, sorry. Thank you. Uh, so if I'm thinking about this, the only thing I'd recognize about cosine is I know that cosine is. Remember the reciprocal or the reciprocal of one over secant, right? Remember these are reciprocals of each other? So therefore I know that cosine is the same thing as one over secant. Alright, and the same thing, secant of theta is equal to one over cosine of theta. So you guys need to understand that those two relationships, and that was in those, that's in that two boxes that you need to understand that these are the reciprocals of each other. So therefore, if I want to find out what cosine is, and I know what secant is, all I need to do is put one over my secant to find the value of cosine. So therefore, I don't need to write this. So cosine, all it is is one over secant of theta, which secant of theta, and this problem is five. Does that make sense? All right. Um, the next thing is cotangent. Cotangent is the same thing. We need to remember what is cotangent. Um, or tangent reciprocal or cotangent reciprocal is one or one over tan theta. All right, so we have to remember how our, our angles are related to each other. Sine of theta equals one over cosecant of theta. Cosine of theta equals one over secant of theta. And tangent of theta equals one over cotangent. All right, and that can work the same way. You can say cotangent is one over tangent. Secant is one over cosine. Co cosecant is one over sine. That works both ways. They're reciprocals of each other. Those are in those boxes that are really important for you guys to have written down to understand. So if I write, if I know that cotangent is just one over tangent, I'm given tangent. So I just write one over two radical six. And obviously we know we can't have a radical in the bottom. So again, we're going to rationalize the denominator. Uh, that becomes 6, 12. Do you guys remember when you're like, God, man, it's like, when am I ever going to use rationalize the denominator? You see how often we're using rationalize the denominator in this class? I don't like it. I know. But if you practiced it earlier and you learned it and you like got it good, then you know it's, you get, it goes a lot quicker now. Um, OK, now cotangent. So I have cotangent of 9 degrees minus theta. Um, if you had, when we had our co-function complementary identities written down, one thing you guys need to understand is cotangent of 90 minus theta is the same, same thing as tangent of theta. All right? Cotangent of 90 minus theta is the same thing as tangent minus theta. And I'll prove that to you guys in just a second. Um, not in this video, but in the problem because I haven't spoken with you guys about it. So therefore, cotangent of 90 minus theta is the same thing as tangent of theta. Well, tangent of theta is 2 radical 6. So there's our answer. And I'll show you guys why that works um, here in a different video for you. And last one is sine. Well, I know what cosine is. I know what cotangent is. I know what tangent is. I know what secant is. And I already told you I know what tangent is. So I need to figure out what sine is. Now, what I want you to do is to think about how can I figure out what sine is? What relationships do I know? And in that blue box that I told you guys is like so important, right? There's everything that you need to solve in this chapter and for proceeding chapters on or in further chapters is going to be in that blue box. If you look at that sine, well, we know that tangent of theta is equal to sine of theta over cosine of theta. That's a relationship that we know, all right? And the important thing, if I want to know what sine is, I can say sine of theta then 
is the same thing as tangent of theta times cosine of theta, right? If you multiply by cosine of theta, both sides. Oh, yeah. yeah. Right? You multiply both sides, Why you get sine equals cosine times tangent. Because remember, we want to figure out what sine is, right? Why does the cosine on the side of the, tan the, side of the tangent cancel out? P erased A. I did. I, I was just getting cross out happy. I was just, it crosses cross out over here. Cross out happy. <laughs> it crosses out over here, right? It doesn't cross over here. It's cosine times tangent. Okay. I'm just All right. Yeah, I know. I was just, I just marked it. My bad. So therefore, we have sine equals that. So then, do I know what tangent is, and do I know what cosine is? You know what cosine is, but you don't know what tangent is. Right, well, uh, right there. Right there. Okay. So therefore, our final answer is, you know, one fifth times two radical six. So it equals two radical six over five. Okay. No, you need to think about. You're right. This is stuff you need to start thinking like outside the box. Right? We, what we're going to do is we're going to start applying our rules that are in those boxes. So it isn't something straightforward thinking that you're like, okay, just do this, right? There's no like set rules. This is going to start getting a lot more abstract that we're going to be.